ओके गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन दिस इज एस एस टी लेसन नंबर वन हिस्ट्री द स्टोरी ऑफ द पास्ट ओके वॉट इज हिस्ट्री हिस्ट्री इज अ रिकॉर्ड ऑफ द पास्ट इवेंट्स इन अ सिक्वेंशियल ऑर्डर इट इज द स्टडी ऑफ द पास्ट इट गिवस अस अ डिटाइल्ड अकाउंट ऑफ द पीपल हु लिवड बिफोर अस it deals with the social religious economic political and cultural aspects of the earlier civilizations it is it is a written account which relates to important events like wars revolutions inventions discoveries etc and explains their why and how history reveals the growth and progress of the humans prehistory and history prehistory as the name suggests it means the period of the time before written records this period refers to the time when humans had not developed the art of writing the study of the study of tools pottery bones weapons caves and their paintings etc tells us about the life of the people at that time history it refers to the period of written records it study it studies the writings on rocks barks of trees pillars copper plates and paper it also studies the ancient manuscripts written on dried palm leaves need to study history history relate, relates the present with the past unless we understand our past we cannot develop a good understanding of the present for example when we see the right brothers first aeroplane we can trace the history of the modern aeroplanes history teaches us to act better in present by learning from the past happenings for example history bears the fact that wars always cause caused huge loss of life and property so we should avoid all types of wars history is the source of knowledge about our culture it makes us aware of the words of wisdom teachings of the bhagavad gita the bible the quran the guru granth sahib etc make us learn invaluable lessons history tells us why we celebrate important historical events like the independence day the gandhi jayanti etc and festivals like diwali christmas eid and guru purab it tells us about the significance of our celebrations compartmentalization or division of history time and history both are continuous history now relates to a long period of time for the sake of better understanding and convenience history has been divided into the following three periods first one is ancient period it refers to the very old period very few sources are available about this period it covers the period up to the 8th century ad medieval period it refers to the middle period there are enough sources available for this period it covers the period from the 9th century to the 17th century modern period it refers to the more recent period many sources are available for this period it covers the period from the 18th century till now who is a historian a person who studies and writes about the past and is considered an authority on it is known as a historian historians do researches on the past events 
historians or experts in history sources of history sources are the things that help us to learn about the past events and people these things are like clues that suggest a lot about the past event events and people the sources of history have been broadly classified into two groups archaeological sources and literary sources Arche- archaeological sources archaeology is the study of the remains of the past archaeology archaeological sources are a direct evidence of the past these are studied by archaeologist an archaeologist is a person who is an expert in digging and studying the remains of the past he is skilled at handling the remains of the past Arch- archaeological sources of history include inscriptions and edicts inscriptions or the written records that were engraved on the walls of the caves temples and on rocks pillars and clay or copper plates inscriptions tell us about uh, tell us a lot about the names of the and dates of kings the extent of their empire important events during their rule and religious and cultural practices the study of inscriptions is called epigraphy edicts are curved or written records of the formal public announcements made by the kings of the past edicts informed the people about the declarations of the king monuments monuments are old buildings which have a historic importance temples mosques tombs stupas places palaces and forts are the monuments of the past the style of construction and the materials used to throw enough light on the knowledge of the people of the past for example the taj mahal reveals the artistic skills of the people of its time and the red fort reveals that stones were used in construction in the past monuments are a great archaeological source of history fossils fossils are remains of plants animals or humans which have been buried and preserved for millions of years in the earth they tell us tell a lot about the creatures that existed in the past for example much information about dinosaurs is derived from its fossils artifacts artifacts refers to the man made objects like jewelry textiles pottery toys tools weapons etc which were created by the people of the past paintings and stones carvings are also artifacts coins coins are one of the most important sources of history they give information about the names of the pictures of the king and queens the date on the coin tells us about the period of rule of a king or queen the writing on the coin reveals the language that was used at that time moreover the metal or alloy used to make the coins reveals a lot about scientific advancements and wealth of the kingdom besides the above the coins reveal a lot about the religion art and personal taste of the kings and the queens the earliest coins were not very well made they were crude in form with the passage of time coins coin making became better 
the study of coin is called numismatics numismatics literary sources or written sources the art of writing took a very long time to develop the first written source developed in the form of manuscripts which were handwritten record of the past events the earliest writing developed in mesopotamia which was known as cuneiform ancient egyptians wrote on a plant called papyrus their writings was known as hieroglyphics finally paper was invented by the chinese in 105 ad literary sources include religious literature L- religious literature deals with religious writings the vedas the puranas the buddhist tripic texts and the jain angas are some religious literatures most of the religious literatures give details regarding prayers rituals etc of the people of the ancient times language languages like sanskrit tamil etc were used in religious literature secular literature secular literature is not religious it does not talk of religion it just inform about the historical events stories plays poems biographies of kings writings of foreign travelers etc are examples of secular literature moreover dramas poems folk tales like panchatantra and accounts of foreign travelers like fahin and hyun sang are examples of secular literature historical events a knowledge about the historical events makes us learn a lot one event causes another for example the british east indian company was formed in 1600 it came to india to do business but later ruled over india with an iron hand the famous jallian wala bag massacre happened in 1919 so as to os the british gandhi ji launched the quit, quit india movement in 1942 finally india got freedom from the british on 15th august 1947 need to preserve sources sources of history are the documents or text in various forms special care should be taken to preserve these once we lost them we can never get them back historians should ensure that all types of literature are preserved in the best possible way archaeologists should take extreme care in digging out the artifacts architecture and keeping them at a secured place the sources are kept in a secured way at places like the museum and the national archives of india new delhi